to uh, the Climate and Ecological Emergency Declaration at Lancaster University. So I'm uh, kind of based within this unit that's got the name Green Lancaster, which is a collaborative program um, aimed at engaging our students and staff into um, environmental sustainability initiatives. Um, and we have representation from both the university and the students union in terms of a core staff team, um, as well as a, a, a broad group of volunteers um, and student leaders that help us deliver a lot of our practical opportunities and projects on the ground. Um, our overall aim through Green Lancaster is to provide um, our main community with the opportunity to engage um, with some of the you know, quite practical responses that individuals and communities can take um, to these agendas. Um, and we do that through providing uh, practical and engaging um, learning experiences that are either available to students through the formal curriculum um, or through the informal cur curriculum on campus and also across the local area and beyond. So a bit more detail on Forest of the Future. Um, it's currently in a kind of a pr proof of concept phase which was launched in 2018 um, and really it originated from the carbon sequestration agenda of the university. Um, of course, along with many other universities having a close interest on its sort of scope one, two and three emissions, but in particular with regards to sequestration, it's scope three um, and issues around kind of business travel, um, student and staff academic travel. Um, and also from procurement um, and these emissions constitute around 83% of total emissions um, per year from the university. 65% of all travel emissions come from international student travel to and from the campus at start and end of the academic year. But of course, um, given the scale of, of those emissions, the proof of concept project that I'm going to talk through here was only very much at small scale um, with a view to kind of demonstrating what might be possible um, at a wider scale, um, you know, across um, a, a broader landscape um, locally and regionally to the university. But from my perspective, as the kind of person involved in engaging students in this agenda, um, there's a real focus on enhancing biodiversity, creating habitat corridors, and of course, most importantly at these times, engaging students in student experience and student well-being and providing a hands-on experience in the natural environment is very close to home, close to the campus. You can walk straight to the locations where we've been implementing um, our programmes. There's two specific sub-projects that come out of Forest of the Future. Um, and these have the names of Eco Woods, which is a practical engagement in woodland planting, as we've described on the previous couple of slides, um, and Eco Wilds, which is slightly more around embedding um, into the formal curriculum um, involving monitoring biodiversity um, and also um, engaging with external organisations on uh, nature conservation um, through the formal curriculum at Lancaster. So to talk a little bit um, about the location, the scale, um, the sites that we selected for the trial period um, are very close to Lancaster University. They're on an area of land that the university owns located immediately east of the M6 motorway. Um, it's a 67 hectare site and within that three specific tree planting sites have been allocated since 2018 with a total area of 3.8 hectares. And within the four years that have passed since then, we've planted 5,500 native trees uh, through a combination of student staff and local community volunteer action days. So here's an aerial shot showing you those three um, specific action area sites that we focused our work on. And here's some work going on on the ground um, in the very early spring. I think this was 2019, around about February. Um, and again, a, a shot from a slightly different angle of one of our groups working there. And it's worth noting that this is uh, post agricultural land that's been taken out of the university's farming tenancy for the, this area of land that the university owns to the east of the motorway. There's also a lot of natural regeneration going on within the within the areas and we've been very keen to minimise the level of um, human intervention into the landscape. Um, so whilst there has been clearly planting um, of trees going on, you know, we've been keen to allow the grassland to come back, the wildflowers to come back and also the generation of saplings um, has been very prolific um, outside of those that inevitably have been planted in your uh, world famous tubex tubes with wooden stakes. 
Um, just to give a brief reference to some of the wider work going on collaborating with local organisations. Um, Pre-pandemic, we had a great partnership launched um, through our Eco World programme with Restoring Hard Knock Forest based in the Southwest um, Lakes. And this enables students to get some more hands-on practical experience off-site um, with, with, with local partners who are delivering very similar um, responses to um, the ecological and climate emergencies. So that's a, a, that's it. That's a very brief run through and summary of Forest of the Future at Lancaster University. Um, and I'd be very delighted to take any questions in the time that remains. Thank you, Dan.